today I'm going to be making some mixed media Christmas cards using gel prints to create a sort of abstract Christmas scene with Christmas trees and a moon, some nice vintage ephemera um, postage stamps and things like that in the background. Really simple process. You may well have some prints that are already suitable that you want to use for do this. Um, I'm going to make the prints today that I'm going to be using for these cards. So I'll move these out of the way and I'll get on with showing you how they're made. I'm going to begin by creating the background um, for my Christmas cards and for that I'm using the four inch circular jelly plate. Now if you don't have a round jelly plate it doesn't matter just use a regular square or rectangular one. I'm going to be cutting this out anyway but I'm going to be cutting it into a circle so I thought if I've got a round plate I may as well use it. I can see the design framed on there quite nicely. I've got a selection of stencils here of different sizes, um, different brands, there's some sequin waste, you know, just general background designs. I've got some scrap paper here for removing some paint and for cleaning my brayer. I've got my little brayer here and I have a whole selection of acrylic paints and today I'm going to be using a mixture of the Deco Art Americana and Deco Art Crafters Acrylic. And I have a selection of sort of fairly pastel shades that I'm going to be using for my background. And I've got some brighter shades that I'm going to be using for my Christmas trees. I've got some cardstock here. This is just some um, basically cartridge paper from a sketchbook. It was quite a good weight, uh, 220 GSM cardstock. Um, just from this pad here, which is just a, a, a drawing pad. Um, it, it's just nice. Whatever you've got will work. Some smooth cardstock, absolutely fine. Reasonable weight paper also will work fine. And I've just cut these into four and a half inch squares just so that you know they'll fit nicely over my four inch circle gel plate. I've put my plate on a piece, on a square of the paper just making it easier for me to line up um, if I want to layer some prints. So I've just got a bit of masking tape holding a piece of this cardstock down on my table. So it's time to begin and I'm going to pop some of this acrylic paint on my plate and start adding some pattern with the various stencils. If I know the name of the stencil, I will pop it up on the screen as I use it. Just using a piece of scrap paper to remove some of the excess paint here. And I will list the colours of the paint that I'm using in the description below. Gaze upon the sky Christmas on my mind Somewhere from a place up high above 
There's a song of love traveling afar, seeking us to warm up every heart to be our light into the night. Bless us with. Of serenity, let it come to bloom. Joyful Christmas news, hope will find its way to you. Peaceful little lights, Christmas on my mind. Somewhere from a place up high above, there's a special star. Now that I've completed one layer on my background, I'm going to go back in and add a little extra detail by doing another layer. This time I'm going to be using um, some white paint along with just a couple of those paler ones, just so that they'll, they'll stand out. I don't want my background to be too dark. Christmas when the snow starts to fall then you know it's Christmas for the children above all now that's my background's finished I'm just going to clean my round jelly plate and I'll get set up with my other one that I'm going to use today which is my 7 by 5 inch one so this is my 7 by 5 inch gel plate and this is what I'm going to be using to do my Christmas trees. I've cut some more card. Again, it's this, the same cartridge paper that from a pad that I've used before. These are about sort of four and a half by five inches. It's about the size I'm going to want. So again, I just cut it down and I can place them wherever I want within the design that I'm creating on the gel plate. Again, I have Americana paint and Crafters Acrylic paint. Got just some um, sort of slightly brighter tones this time for the Christmas trees. And again, just going to be creating um, sort of random abstract designs using stencils as before. And then we can um, cut, the, cut the shapes out of the card to create the Christmas trees. Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The joyful times we witness Forever stays with us Soon Rudolph here 
takes his whistle and gathers all his friends when Sinai and his missus wraps the final gift you know it's time for Christmas for each and every I think I've got enough printed backgrounds there for the trees that I'm going to need so again I'm just going to clear this all out of the way and get ready to show you how to how to create the finished cards which is really quite simple I die cut my backgrounds into a three and a quarter inch circle just tidies them up as I said at the beginning if you didn't have um, a circular jelly plate it really didn't matter because we were going to cut these out anyway I've got myself some craft card here this is five inch square piece I believe and the brighter colored prints that we created I've cut into triangles just assorted shapes and size of triangle and these are going to be our Christmas trees I've also gathered together um, a bit of ephemera that I've got. I've got some vintage Christmas stamps here and some foreign Christmas stamps, some old music paper, foreign text pages. And I've also got some narrow washi tape here that I may use. I'm not sure whether I'm using that yet or not. But we're just going to layer these up to create a sort of Christmas scene onto the craft card. I'm also going to do a little bit of stitching, I think, with my sewing machine, which of course I'll do off camera. Um, but basically I'm going to be sort of deciding how how I want to arrange um, things on here and easiest way to do this is just sort of play about with with what you've got before you commit to sticking anything down and then you know you can always take a photograph or just you know make a quick sketch or something like that just so you know where you want to place things And when you're happy with the sort of layout that you want, you can go ahead. So I'm going to do a bit of stitching on the paper in the background before I layer these other things on top. And then I'm just going to glue them all in place. I'm going to be using my Cosmic Shimmer Acrylic Glue, as I always do. Um, links to that in the Amazon storefronts down below if you want to check those out. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all um, glued together, fixed in place, and I'll show you the finished cards at the end. And here are my finished cards. I've inked around the edge of the craft cardstock with a little hickory smoke um, distress ink and with hindsight I would have done the same around the triangles that I'd cut out 
but I didn't think to do that until after I'd glued them down. So to add a little definition just around the edge, I took my Stabilo All Pencil in black, um, lightly went around the edge and then took a wet paint brush just to soften the colour out a little bit. Added some washi tape just to ground the trees. And that's basically what I've done. Um, chosen different arrangements for each of the cards that I've done, but they've all been made in basically exactly the same way. And I do think that adding that darker line around the triangles really does help just bring those out um, as the focus for the cards. So I hope that uh, this has given you again some more suggestions of what to do with some gel prints, how to use gel prints in different ways. You know, if you're looking for something a little bit non-traditional, sort of mixed media style, this is really, really nice. Now you could add a sentiment to these, no problem. Um, I may well add a little stamped Merry Christmas or, or Season's Greetings type thing across the top of them. Haven't done it yet, but there's plenty of time. I need to mount these card fronts actually onto a card blank as well. But uh, I say it's um, one simple technique to create lots of different... Uh, variety of, of cards here and I really had a lot of fun um, playing with the gel plate and creating them. As always if you enjoyed the video please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back again next week with another video but for now that's all. Bye! Bye.